A rare look inside the Navajo Nation through the eyes of some college-bound students. It's a story you'll see only on KOLD News 13. KOLD News 13 photojournalist Paul Durant was granted exclusive access to St. Michael's Indian School. St. Michael's is about 300 miles northeast of Tucson near the New Mexico border. The Navajo Nation is one of the poorest in the U.S., but students growing up on the reservation recognize the tribe's contributions to this country and hope to one day make history of their own. Welcome to the Navajo Nation. The scenery is breathtaking. The nation covers 27,000 square miles in Arizona, Utah, and New Mexico. A monument to the heroism of Navajos known as World War II Code Talkers stands in Window Rock, a reminder to Navajo children of their tribe's great accomplishments. In St. Michael, Arizona, we find a small Catholic high school started up by St. Catherine Drexel, ensuring Native Americans would receive a quality education on the reservation. She had seen Indians cheated out of land, cheated out of their goods uh, because of lack of knowing the language and the way things were done in the white world. Graduation statistics at the school are astounding. We have this, we have this, what's left? Each year, 90 to 100 percent of our graduates go on to college or some form of post-secondary education. A future ASU student says St. Michael's is a family tradition. You now my mom graduated from here, her sisters graduated from here, her brother graduated from here, my grandma graduated from here. So, you know, it's more of like a family legacy and also because of its high standards of getting people ready for college. A University of Arizona-bound student who grew up helping her father run his businesses on the Navajo reservation plans to bring her education back to the Navajo community. Uh, I want to start in the reservation and then uh, open shops in like Tucson, Phoenix, and Albuquerque. And teachers are especially proud when their students are able to return to the community. Many of our graduates from college do not come back to the reservation because of limited uh, employment opportunities here. So many of them are in Phoenix, the whole metropolitan Phoenix, metropolitan Tucson, and, and settle there. Live local late breaking, Teresa Jun, KOLD News 13. Grants and donations cover tuition at the school. For more information about the school, log on to KOLD.com slash links. It's great mm -hmm. to get the students thinking at an early age that mm -hmm. I can do it, I can go to college. Yeah, and Paul Durant, when I was talking to him about going up there, and he said it was amazing. It was a life-changing experience for him to go up there wow. and see us. Terrific. Great to see those kids here, a lot of them at the U of A. Too. Exactly.